my channel. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Joy Aroha and I am a professional makeup artist who's got a diploma from London College of Makeup. I am a qualified and a CEO of File and Style Beauty Salon here in Dubai. If you want a quality makeup tutorial videos, proper techniques in makeup and tips and tricks coming from a pro makeup artist then this is the channel for you what you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell just so you're always notified whenever i have new videos so welcome to bridal makeup series in this series i will be teaching you a european bridal makeup indian makeup asian makeup and last episode will be your Arabic makeup so stay tuned to this channel it will be uploaded every week right now this episode that you are watching is European bridal makeup so if you want to know how I did this look then keep on watching So right guys, after doing the basic um, preparation for your skin, so I have this MAC Mineralized Time Check Lotion Visage and I'm just going to quickly apply it all over my face. This will be my um, face primer because you want your foundation will last all day. So face primer is very very important. My brows are already done. So what I'm going to do is just to shape my brows. I have this um, MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer right here. It's in the tube, small tube like this because one of my cats um, knocked it off and broke the whole thing. And I'm so glad that I saved some of it. And then buff it so there's no hard edges. My brows are already done in shape. Now I go back and dipping, dipping, <laughs> and dipping my brush um, using the same concealer, Mac Pro Longwear Concealer um, NC30, um, and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid, acting as my eyeshadow base. This will act as your primer and so that your eyeshadow will pop. Without this, your eyeshadow will look like it's washed out. And you don't, you wouldn't want that. And now using this MAC 224 um, for my transition color, I will be using this Charlotte Tilbury in this shade right here when you apply a transition um, color area just and wipe it in a windshield motion like so so I have my Mac Pro pack oh girl what happened Wow mm. what's wrong now I have my Mac 217 brush right here and I'm gonna dip it to my Mac Pro palette I think this is called cool <laughs> um, I think this is called cool Droid. Okay, so under the transition color And I'm gonna dip my brush to the um, eyeshadow right here using my same brush 217 Tap the excess on the outer corner of your lid, just in this area. And wing it, wing it out a bit. 
Do the same to the other eye. Right, okay, so I go back with Corduroy from my MAC Pro palette again. And just to deepen up the color in a dabbing motion. So I have my eye shading uh, brush right here from Sigma E55. And I'm just gonna damp it. And I'm gonna use this shade right here with the dabbing motion to your center lid, going to your inner lid. I have my um, Sigma Pencil Brush E30 and I'm going to dip it to my MAC Soft and Gentle to my brow bone. Guys, um, one tip for you, when you apply a um, highlighter on your brow bone, you don't want to put a lot all over especially i have a monolid it will look that it's forward you know just apply it just on the where the um, curved part of your eyebrow okay so i'm gonna spray my brush with fix plus and i am gonna do it a cake technique for you guys i have my anastasia beverly hills palette right here i'm gonna dip it to this eyeshadow called noir and a little bit of cypress umber test it at the back of your hand this is gonna be like to act like your eyeliner and line your eyes like so make sure to just um, be the closest to your lash line same um, Concealer If there's any harsh line, I like to blend it with the brush um, For the transition shade from at uh, the bottom of your lash line this shade right here the darker shade using the same brush just to have a depth oh, apply it like so and I am going to grab this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, soft glam palette cypress amber and apply it on the um, outer corner of your lower lid just for you to have a depth Soft and gentle for my inner corner. I have this BH Cosmetics um, brush right here, 105. Now we move on to the foundation. I have this Estee Lauder um, a double wear foundation. Okay, I think this foundation is a little bit darker than my shade. Good thing that I have. A, a lighter um, shade right here so I can mix you can always mix a foundation guys as long as it's the same brand and it's the same type for um, wedding makeup guys this um, foundation is you should be focusing on take your time you know this has to be applied as evenly as possible it will show in the photos that it's not um, applied well and it's patchy so and take a click a kabuki brush so when you apply foundation finish first on the right side and then now you move on to the other side why because if you apply everything all in I mean if you apply all in once then there's a tendency that your foundation will dry it up first you work on in this area and this side of the face will dry it up so 
focus on each side, then you can move on to the other side. So for my under eye area, I have this Laura Mercier translucent powder right here. You don't need a lot of baking because you want it to look as natural as possible. Okay, so I have this big brush right here and I'm gonna dip it to just a little bit of powder to my um, MAC Medium Plus. Okay, so I have this Medium Plus from MAC and I am going to bronze my face like so. In um, bridal makeup guys, you don't want any harsh um, makeup, harsh lines. So just um, make sure you blend everything properly. You don't want any harsh lines, so blend, blend, blending is the key. I am going to dip my brush using this angle contour brush from Sigma at the middle of this palette, the uh, middle part. Just lightly contour it, guys. Lightly. For the nose, you start from the tip of your brows, going down and in a straight line. Then you move on to the blush, cheek to cheek, um, Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. If you want to look lifted and youthful, so just smile and apply it a little bit above. And for my lips, I'm going to be using Kiko Lip Crayon number 504. And for my lipstick, I have this Tom Ford Casablanca uh, Rouge All of Rest <laughs> um, lipstick right here. Using my Sephora um, lip brush. And for the lip gloss, I use this MAC Cream Sheen Lip lip Glass from MAC. Just a tiny bit in the middle. Okay, so we're done with the makeup. What's left is my eyelash extensions. Let me get back to you and I will show you the final look. Right guys, so this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you like the makeup tutorial that I did. So leave a comment down below if you like this tutorial or not. Stay tuned next week for my Indian um, wedding makeup. So thank you, thank you so much for watching again. And I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao!